now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. Much of the Susquehanna Valley saw clear skies today. We're going to keep that trend overnight tonight. That's going to allow the temperatures to really drop down to near freezing. There could be some patchy frost. Some spots may even make it down into the 20s overnight. But then the clouds will start to return tomorrow. Monday is going to be a transitional day. Lots of sunshine in the morning, but by the evening rush hour, clouds will be fairly thick. That's going to lead to some rain late Monday night and showers likely on Tuesday. It does look like it's going to be a uh, good soaking rain with that storm system coming up from the south. Live look right now over the city of York. Temperatures dropping quick, now down to near 40 degrees. One of the cooler spots across the area. Winds are light and common dew points are low. It is all quiet right now on Super Doppler 8. You want to find the edge of the clouds. That's all the way down the southern portions of the Delmarva Peninsula. But it's this rain system right now moving across the deep south that's going to work its way across the Carolinas and over towards the Jersey Shore. And our rain chances will go up late tomorrow night because of that. So little to uh, no clouds this evening. Light wind. Chilly temperatures near 40 degrees, and then overnight tonight, yeah, some spots down into the 20s. Most of us will be near the freezing mark, but a few cities may be closer to 34 to 35. Then, as we head through the day tomorrow, we'll start to see that transition. It'll be sunny in the morning, and then the clouds will be increasing during the day, leading to the chances for some late passing showers, most likely after dark, and then the rain chances will stay up. As we head into Tuesday, highest rain chances will be midday on Tuesday, and then as the storm starts to pull or starts to pull offshore, rain chances will drop, and I think we'll have a fairly dry Veterans Day ahead. So if you have any outdoor plans for Veterans Day, you can keep them. We do need the rain. It's been fairly dry so far for this month. Only had one one hundredth of an inch before the year. We're still above average, so good soaking rain for this time of the year. It is needed. Our high today was 56. The low this morning was 42. No, again, no rainfall out reported at Harrisburg International Airport. Here were the highs today, only in the 50s. Our highs yesterday were just after midnight. At Harrisburg, it was 69 degrees. Gettysburg, yesterday's high, just right after midnight, was 70. Now down to 54. So right where we should be for this time of the year. We'll be close to that as we head into tomorrow as well. Here are the current temperatures right now. It is 45 in Harrisburg, 46 to this hour in Carlisle, and currently 51 in Chambersburg. Winds are light and calm. That's thanks to the core of that ri the ridge of high pressure is nearly overhead. That's going to work its way up toward New England as we head through the overnight hours. This is our next rainmaker. It's going to work away, uh, work on the back side of the ridge of that high and start to lift from the south to the north. First, we'll see the clouds increase, and eventually the rain chances will go up. So watch what happens here on the predictor. There's the high moving offshore, and then in come the clouds from the south as we head through the day tomorrow. Lots of sunshine in the morning, but by the evening rush hour, clouds will be fairly thick. Here we are at 8 o'clock. There could be some rain chances just on the other side of the Mason-Dixon line. Rain chances will go up and stay up. This rain looks like it is going to be fairly widespread as we head through the day on Tuesday. But as the center of the low works its way toward the Jersey Shore, rain chances will slowly taper off as we head into Tuesday night. And it does look like a decent soaking rain. I'm forecasting about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch. But a few spots may see close to an inch with this storm system moving on through. Not looking for any thunderstorms, just a nice, decent soaking rain. Fairly gloomy weather is expected on into Tuesday. But our weather will improve just in time for Veterans Day. Temperatures will warm back up into the 60s. That is still above seasonal averages. Could see another round of some rain as the storm system moves on through ahead of a cold front on Thursday. Temperatures dropping back down to at or possibly even below seasonal averages for next weekend. Wow.